Welcome back guys to another episode of Hip Save here today. We have got Rangers away from home and as you'll see performance on the left hand side, we are okay. We've not we didn't have a great start to the season, I'll just be brutally, brutally honest. Um So where I last left you for um We didn't do very good towards the end of last season. Um we finished fifth. Um let's say in last section of the season where the last few games were played we only won two out of our last seven so it didn't go the way i would like to have gone but we move um as you can see in august we beat motherwell then we beat our european first tie lost celtic 1-0 at home beat the other team we just played but beat that team 3-2 away from home at home away from home again um then played motherwell in the cup we lost them 1-0 beat um duncald 6-0 uh, away from home, then drew 2-2 with Dundee United, a late winner, uh, late, well, a late, not a late goal, but then beat Duncan 1-1, then Rob beat Ross County 4-2, it was a bit of a goal scoring game as you can see, um, Sam scored two late winner, two goals at the end, uh, beat Drew Hearts 2-2, didn't play very well, then we were just beating Dynamo, um, no team who they are, um, I think it's some Georgia side, yep, absolutely just played them off the park, um, uh, it was um five nine or six nil at half time, so <laughs> yeah, very good. Um then we just played Aberdeen, beaten three nil away at uh, beaten three nil at home, and then we're away to Rangers today, um which Rangers are not looking the same as last season where they were outplaying they played previously. Um Dundee and only beaten two one, which you wouldn't expect to see how and are on everybody again this season, but we need to try and at least Get a wee bit higher up the table. St. John's are playing very well at the season, the start of the season, and St. John's, uh, Lincoln, I should say, they've just beaten Hearts 3 1, I think it was. Um, yeah, so they played them off the park as well. Um, Transfer wise, what we've brought in this window, um, and we brought all that in the keeper, as you'll see, we spent quite a lot of money. Um, not a lot, but a lot of free transfers, as you'll see. Um, from, as you'll see, Joyous Carlos. Um, I brought it in and he's straight out loan to Inverness, which is, it looks like he's doing well with a couple of 16 stats. Um, attacking, he's only played one game from us, so it's not very good. Um, we brought in some young centre back who's nearly first team potential. Brought in a striker, uh, Lena Campiampo. He looks very good, he'd probably be off the bench pretty much this season. I mean, this is important, but we'll see how that goes. Nisbet's at that position as well. Brought in Ben Dallant on a free, he's going to go out and loan, try to get him loan in January. Um, a couple of our deals you'll see um brought in this guy i didn't really know but he basically is now injured t for half the season because he got an injury in um friendlies so it's an ideal um just a free couple of transfers a few loans um what went out the club wise um quite big to be honest a lot of youngsters being sold so as you see purse pepper ring pong um we brought in what Two seasons ago, um, on a free from Birmingham. I don't know how we literally played, went on a loan, played for and then we sold him for nine million. So it was quite a good deal. Um, he wanted the move, so I was like, okay, we can our hands being kind of forced here. Um, Andrew Radak, who was here for a while with us, um, has officially been sold as well. Made a bit of money on him, about a mil. Um, here for two seasons as a rotational right back, but it was time for him to go. I just see quite a lot of loans uh, with um, just fees. And also Andy Harwood, uh, who we brought in two or three seasons ago, um, who we brought in for 2.7, sold for 8. He wanted to leave everything put in bed, and then he was annoyed. I rejected. I wanted to get him first in football, but he left on £8 million as well. So uh, it's been quite a hectic window. Um, a few other players you'll see, Lewis Cat McCann sold as well. Thought he was doing the next best player, just try to get rid of him off the books. Um, he's not. Produce what I was thinking is a produce it wasn't done for a um, but we just accept that and move on after the money we just made off two youngsters. But yeah, um, there's not much else been happening at the club since you've last seen us, so we need to try and push for points, try and get a win here. Um, at at Ibrox, I know it's going to be tough, but we've got no choice but to go for it. Um, Steam Jar is still in charge of Rangers. Um, Zidane is managing Celtic which I didn't think I'd ever see in the save at Celtic but we need to just try and 
push on and get three points. I mean, we've done very well. We've not lost with one five and one four in the last five. So let's hope everybody's keen for a win today. Um, I expect a tough game. Um, the only problems we've got at the back is a few injuries, major injuries, as you've seen. Um, so the keeper we've got currently in the minute is doing he's doing okay i'm just gonna say he's doing okay he's not what i would expect it. that's why we brought on that one you've probably seen at the start when i went to transfers he's arguably our number one coming in this season he i put probably pre-season so he'll join us in january or um in the season uh at the end of the window um at the end of the season i mean sorry um so we need to try and just get through this uh season of not conceding too many as we've got a chance at the top end there's one nil herbs hopefully he's on side i think he's on side and he is lambert puts us in front against rangers one nil 22 minutes in rangers don't look like the side they were two seasons ago or three seasons ago um yeah i don't know what's going on with um rangers they haven't really made any big signings which i've seen um not massive signings like i think they've literally just been keeping money for taking the debt off um as we have el ghazi go down there since right hand side whips one at the back post layer and puts oh just close um but look from stats wise we look the more more attacking team um on the front foot but celtic looked strong again this season um yeah they are bringing some big players in which i personally cannot keep up with <laughs> Unless I'm selling youth players every season and making millions off them. Um, but I'm going to look to do a wee bit of business in January. Probably not a lot, but there'll be the odd sign here or there on pre contract with a chance going again in behind against Rangers. Can we make it 2 0? Ah, oh, he's just been saved, I think. Yes, it has been saved. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate it's been saved. That should have been probably 2 0. Um, a couple of injuries now and then, but we have brought in a few loans just trying to balance the squad out, especially for Europe when we're playing only a game every week. Um, and we pick up some unfortunate ones, but St. Johnson are doing very well, let's see, this season again. They are pushing uh, for top four places again, and it's, I can see they're currently second, and it's a chance for Rangers. Can we clear? Yes, we can. Um, they are looking very strong. They're not the team I would expect them to be in real life. Uh, not one in the last eight. Um, so, yeah. We, we might have a challenge on our hands for hopefully top four this season. Um, but we need to just keep strength of the squad together and not lose many to be early players. Um, only problem I'm struggling with is managing to find a decent winger to come in. As you can see, McGinnis is out wide right. Um, whereas Lamp. We'd have Lambert out wide right and maybe Nisbet or um, Laidlaw through the right. Um, but we are struggling for that position in depth. Um, as the Rangers are looking like they've got back in this game, pushing for an equaliser. 17 minutes in. That keeper's a bit far up. But we need to watch our line here because we can't let Rangers get back into this game. William stops the header. Well, stops it with the header. Tate. Can he find all oh, Tate's touch is horrendous? He's given it in the middle of the park. Can we actually... Tackled again. O'Neill, can he stop? Nope. A Celtic a Rangers literally play it right through us here. In behind, he's offside surely. In behind for Karib. It's 1 1, I think. But I think he's offside. I have a funny feeling he's offside. He is offside. It's still 1 0 Hibs. We're going to make some changes in this second half as we are struggling um, to keep a hold of the midfield. Um, it looks a bit messy. Um, See, this is the problem. I've not got any wingers to bring on. This is the problem. Um, so we're going to bring on... Put Lambers out wide. Uh, bring McGannis in the middle. Uh, bring on Nisbet in the middle, up front. Um, we'll bring on O'Neill. Keep O'Neill out wide left. Um, hopefully that does it. And then bring on Ojin in the middle. Uh, O'Neill can play it wide. Yeah, he can. Um, put him an inside forward and his bit's on let him change this hopefully he can change the game a wee bit control that midfield a bit as we are getting a little bit overran and I don't like it chance for Hibs again in this far side in the corner it's coming out to Williams who's on loan from uh, Liverpool if you didn't see Watts can he whip one in to the back post or play it short into Ojin 
Whoops, at the back post. Lammers the header. He makes it 2 0 Hibs. Come on. 12 goals this season. Very key player we've had the last two seasons that's been helping us in um, some short periods of um, goals. Um, so if we can get this result against Rangers again, uh, I know we did it a couple of seasons ago, but uh, we just need to try and play better against the bigger teams. Celtics have struggled because they've just got so much quality, whereas. I don't feel Rangers have got the quality they used to have. Um, the chance again, O'Neill gets a chance. On Tate, Tate on the side. Can he find a pass? McGarth, O'Neill strikes it from distance. Oh, goes close. But this is the performance I need against the big teams. I mean, we dropped off against smaller teams like Motherwell, Ross County last season, Aberdeen especially. Um, which were a real struggle, and I don't know why, because uh, we had the, we had the team quality and the strength in the team to do it. So we just I don't know why we struggled big time against these teams, but we need to just see out these three points away at Ibrox. So hopefully, there's, there's a chance for Rangers late on this game. With a couple of minutes left, and it's a what two one. Okay, I think now, lads, not to be funny, just time waste. Um, I don't want to be conceding later on in the stage. Um. Slow it down. Um, I do not want to be drawing this game <laughs> when we need really need the crucial three points against um, against Rangers and Ibrox. Um, away from home performance, a decent performance. Uh, currently sitting peak position three in the league. Um, I'd be happy with that performance though. Um, I'm very happy, I should say. Uh, wasn't expecting to get three points, but we have got the three points. Um, that's all that matters. Even though we had forty percent possession, we we went to match. We went toe to toe with uh, Rangers again. So, um, I'm just yeah, very happy. We've got. Sh I'll show you the group we have also for the the Europe the Conference League. Currently at top with a uh, six goal difference, six lead in goal difference. Um, yeah, I, it's an easy enough group. We should be winning it. To be honest, we shouldn't be finishing second. Scottish Cup we're still to get away or um still to get into the fourth round. Premier Cup we're out of but guys that's gonna be the end of this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed and I shall catch you in the next one. Uh make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.